When following the active balance package, many conditions you'll ex expect to, to encounter, like me and Christy in our clinics every single day, common things such as neurological disorders, things like Mons neuroma, sciaticas, peripheral nerve entrapment, carpal tunnel syndrome, whether it's joint replacements, whether it's bad backs, uh, plantar fasciitis is a big one recently. All these things can be helped with the active balance. What we've found is most common ther therapies, like Dennis says, only treat symptomatically in isolation. So now I'm going to give you a brief introduction how the whole body works as one and the key fundamentals that we're going to balance. Like Jim says, all these sciaticas and Martin's neuroma and plantar fasciitis, it's all big names. And you actually might be led down the path of thinking each one of those conditions is a separate issue. But it's actually more, they're all just actually symptoms of the body being out of alignment and out of balance. Project. So a typical example would be, say you stub your toe, for days, weeks or months, you might ollie gait, you might change your pattern of movement, and then we develop other issues. So by the time somebody comes to me, Chris or Dennis, they present, say, for example, shoulder pain, migraines. And what we tend to find is we find that anisotropic root or where it originally started from that they're being missing. So they might be taking tablets, getting massage, doing specific set stretches, but they're not actually getting the root cause. And what's great with this system is going to give you the ingredients, like Dennis says, to discover your own recipe, what your needs are, how your lifestyle, again, whether it's sport and performance, work, handling, repetition, or even trauma, how to allow these issues, but also get the root cause. That's what we do in our therapy, and that's what we're going to show you how to do on yourself to make sure that all of these three key areas are as balanced as possible so that you can alleviate a lot of the muscle tensions or um, restrictions in your body yeah. and maintain the body, because it's all about maintenance. The better you can maintain your body, the less you get the, the real yeah. bad spasms or problems going on yep. so the, the way the actual the, the body is actually held up in its natural posture without us even having to think about it is we've got muscles that pull at what we call a postural tone so there's a, a very small amount of contraction that basically just holds the joint in position naturally so we've got and, and basically muscles can only pull so to stabilize a joint we've got one muscle pulling on one side of the joint and one muscle pulling on the opposite side of the joint and when they're pulling equally against each other, get, that gives good stability to the joint in the middle. But, and uh, that happens from left to right, front to back, and top to bottom. And that's happening all the time in the body without us even having to think about it or be aware about it. That's just happening naturally to keep us in our upright posture. But what's been found more recently is that in, in anatomical terms, where a muscle starts and stops, which is known as its origin and insertion, um, there's actually connections between all of the muscles in the body which is now being known as the myofascial system so for an example of this rather than the calf muscle which is here so in an anatomical terms the calf muscle starts at the heel and then it ends at the knee just move that in so you can see a little bit so that's the muscle starting there and then coming up to the knee but now what the researchers have actually found and re realized is that rather than this stopping at the knee it actually melds together and joins to become the hamstring tendons and then that doesn't stop there it becomes the, the ligament in the pelvis known as the, the sacrotuberous ligament and then that becomes a fascia which goes up the spine so all the way further up the body and this this is known as the posterior chain so as an example of this if we just take this band here so rather than the calf being just a calf it's now one continuous chain of muscles that comes all the way up and actually attaches over the top of the head and actually the front of the head here so you could be getting neck tensions headaches shoulder pain all from something that's going on as far down as the foot again an ankle sprain or something that's going on in the knee you could be getting the symptoms here and that's why it's important that we treat the whole body as one rather than just looking at one part and these patterns run in different directions through the body and that's one of the things that we're going to be educating you through so that you can find out which parts of these are tight and restricted causing distortions in the body so when the body's working well and the muscles are pulling left to right and all of the chains of muscles are pulling equally against each other that gives us good stability our joints all move our nerves all glide all of our organs are sitting in there working working well but through injury old old strain patterns repetitive strain things that we do one-sided one-sided sports, this can all distort and tighten up certain parts, certain muscles, and also certain parts of these facial uh, patterns that run around the body. And that actually distorts and changes the shape of the body 
and then it can actually entrap nerves as they go through certain joints and can affect certain organs. So if we can, if we could see inside of our bodies, and we're just going to take our skin suit off, <laughs> and if we could see what we made earlier, really, yeah. <laughs> if you could see inside the body, you can see that behind the ribcage we've got the lungs, we've got the heart, we've got the digestive system, and we've also got nerves running through these joints. So if James has a postural strain and he does something one-sided, that might strain his ribcage, so he might get this muscle might tighten up, causing the nerves which feed down his arm, so he might start to get tingling or pain down his arm, but also what's happening is that's compressing the lung. So now he might get a breathing condition or he might get a cardiovascular uh, condition. He might have heart palpitations, all because the body's distorted. But you might not think that those two things are related. And that's, again, why we come back to once the body becomes distorted, puts pressure on nerves, causes joints not to work properly, and then also starts to affect our internal health as well. And just give a simple, again, simplistic understanding. If we look at this system here, again, it might look a bit confusing if it's the first time you've ever seen it. But picture like a house. We have many different systems in there, varying from a scaffold system, a sewer system, an electrical system. If, and what we realise in the house, if one thing doesn't work, the house is uncomfortable. So we look at the body. All these different systems eventually affect each other. So we can't just put electric in without organising the plaster. So when we make it in a simple structural way, we treat the house differently to the body. <laughs> and sometimes we do that a little bit wrong. You know, we put the electric in, we have to get the plaster back again. But what we have to do is we always have to start the foundation. Again, today, we're going to really embellish those three important areas. So you're always going to get a great result when, when self-treating or helping your friends, family, or if you're going down the therapist route. And if you look on my T-shirt, I've got the digestive tract on there. So again, similar to James, if I have a distortion on there, that might start to... Um, tighten up the diaphragm or affect the position of the liver or the stomach so I might start getting indigestion or acid reflux or uh, constipation and that's you say you think that's a separate issue but it's actually all part of the same thing so when the body becomes distorted we get nerve pain muscle imbalances pressure on nerves and also that affects our internal health